Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I wanted to talk about Docker. Docker is a great tool that you need to have in your toolbox. In this video you will learn what Docker is, what a container is, and some basic Docker commands. We will also do a few quick demos in order to demonstrate how Docker actually works. Before we jump in, take a second to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you aren't already. If you want to be notified whenever I upload videos, make sure you also hit that bell thing next to the subscribe button. Okay, let's jump in. So what exactly is Docker? Docker is a container engine or a runtime. Docker runs little micro computers or packages called containers. So in order to understand what Docker does, it is first important to understand what a container is. Here's an example of a Linux virtual machine running a few Docker containers. We see containers for Ubuntu, Nginx, MySQL, and PyHole. The Docker engine allows us to run each of these within its own distinct container. The container is essentially a micro virtual machine since it is an isolated environment. Each container has a CPU, RAM, and network isolated from the other containers. Each container may as well be running on its own bare metal server since that's how isolated they are. Technically speaking, a container is comprised of layers of stacked images. But, you might ask, why do we need containers? Well, first of all, containers are portable and can be uploaded and pulled from container registries, such as Docker Hub. For example, if you wanted to run four containers of Ubuntu 2004, you can do that in seconds. Or even better, if you want to run four different versions of Ubuntu, let's say 2010, 2004, 1804, and 1604, you can start a Docker container for each Ubuntu version. It's a lot easier than creating four different virtual machines. Secondly, containers are extremely lightweight and require very few resources. They're almost all built on some sort of Linux image. And lastly, the containerization standard is already being widely accepted and used in tons of companies. Docker is a pretty standard tool that you want to have in your toolbox, especially if you're going to look for an IT job at other companies. I should note that it is extremely easy to get the hang of, so let's get started on a demo and I can show you some cool stuff you can do with Docker. Alright, let's get started by installing Docker on a VM. I'm running Ubuntu 2004 on an AWS EC2 free tier instance. Um, if you aren't sure how to configure a VM or how to use AWS EC2, make sure to check out my video. I have the link in the top right corner of this video, so pause it and open my AWS EC2 video in a new tab, and then you can circle back once you're ready. So I'm currently logged in and ready to go. Since I'm running Ubuntu, I want to install Docker by running sudo apt install docker.io. I already have Docker installed on this machine, so I'm not going to go through the installation process, but it'll ask you if you want to install Docker and you'll hit Y for yes. Now let's check to see if Docker is running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run sudo docker ps and that is going to show us right here this running container screen. Docker ps lists all the running containers that you have on your Docker engine. As we can see there are no running containers so let's start our first container. I'm going to pull the latest Ubuntu image from Docker Hub and make it available locally. Docker Hub is an open source public repo that contains thousands of Docker images. By default, Docker can essentially call back to home and find images on Docker Hub to pull. Many companies use their own private repos to store their Docker images since they don't want their apps and images open to the public. But for this scenario, we only want Ubuntu, so let's go ahead and pull from Docker Hub. What I'm going to run is I'm going to run Docker. pull Ubuntu and it's pulling from Docker Hub really quick just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo docker images and as we can see we have successfully pulled the latest Ubuntu image and it's now available locally. Notice that our Ubuntu image has a latest tag if we wanted to run different versions of Ubuntu as Docker containers, this is how we would do it. Say I want to pull the image for Ubuntu 18.04. I would go ahead and do docker pull Ubuntu and add 18.04. That will go ahead and pull the Ubuntu image for 18.04. And if we go to docker images, 
then we will see that that is the tag for this image. Let's now create a container for our Ubuntu LTS image. So we are going to run docker run d for detached mode and we're going to name this Ubuntu boy and the image we're going to use is Ubuntu. Notice we are running this container in detach mode, meaning it is not running in the current terminal window. It will not be stopped based on the current terminal window behavior. So I'm gonna hit enter, and it started. Now if we run docker ps, we can see that Ubuntu is currently running right now. But now we wanna access that container. So I wanna use that Ubuntu container as if it was a VM. Here's how we can do that. I'm going to run the following command, sudo docker exec it, the name we gave it, and we're going to use bash. We're going to hit enter. And as you can see here, we've changed from this virtual machine into our docker image, docker container, sorry. Now this is full Linux, so let's run some Linux commands. I'm going to see, I'm going to list files and directories. Awesome, now we got Ubuntu running in Ubuntu. Pretty cool, right? Let's now exit out of there and clear the screen. So I'm going to hit exit and I'm going to clear the screen. Let's see exactly what resources our Docker container is using. So I'm going to do Docker stats. And as we can see here, our Ubuntu boy container is using very, very little CPU. It's using four and some change megabytes of memory. And you can set limits on how much memory you want these Docker containers to use. We can also see the read write of the network and the block storage, and then how many instances of this container are running. So let's hit Control C to exit out of that and clear the screen once again. Now if we want to delete this Docker container, we need to first kill and then delete the container. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo docker ps just to make sure that we can see our container ID and our name for the docker container here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo docker kill and we're going to kill that container right there. And now if we do sudo docker ps we can see it's no longer running. Now one thing that I would like to note is that we did kill the container, but it is still there. Let's see where we can see the killed container. So we're going to do sudo docker ps and we're going to do a and we can see these are the status is exited right here. So the docker container is no longer running. So in order to remove this docker container, we're going to do sudo docker rm for remove and I can't type today. We're going to do that docker container. I cannot type. There we go. And you can see that it has been deleted. So let's actually do PSA. And the docker container is no more. Now we still have the images. So let's go back to sudo docker images. We can see that we still have the Ubuntu latest and Ubuntu 18.04. So let's go ahead and delete the Ubuntu latest image. We're going to do sudo docker rmi for remove image and we're going to do the image ID which is right here. We're going to paste that and as we can see it's been deleted. So if we come up here and we do sudo docker images we do not see that image anymore. Now this is super helpful because we are able to kill and bring up new uh, containers extremely quickly. So let's go ahead and run that 1804 container that we brought down from Docker Hub earlier and we're going to use a similar command sudo docker run in detached mode and we're going to name this um, old Ubuntu since it's an older version alright and then the image we're going to use is Ubuntu 18.04 and we're going to hit enter 
and that container has been created. So now if we do sudo docker ps, we can see that the container is running. And just like we did before, we can access that container by running docker exec it and old Ubuntu. And we're going to use bash and we'll hit enter. Now we are in the command line for that Docker container. So let's go ahead and exit. Super handy. I love Docker. It's really cool. So as you can see, there are a ton of uses for Docker and I've only really showed you the basics. Hopefully you were able to get a bird's eye view of what Docker is, what containers are and why we need them. And hopefully you got Docker installed on your own machine now and can continue to tinker around with it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Make sure to share this video if you found it useful. And of course, drop a comment if you have any questions I can answer. Peace.